Business Insider Live. We are kicking off July 4th weekend with B-Mix. Uh, so basically it's a zero calorie mixer. Uh, we're gonna be creating some pretty delicious cocktails today. And I have two of my lovely friends. <laughs> I have Jen and I have Sarah. Jen's one of the founders for B-Mix. And Sarah, you're gonna be making all these delicious creations for us because you know how, we don't. I kind of know. And we didn't plan, we didn't plan. No. It was kind of all dressing and... I know we're so red and blue, but it looks cute. It works because we're really excited about July 4th weekend and what better way to celebrate than with B-Mix cocktails. And basically, Jen, I want to kind of get a little bit of a background for what was your catalyst behind us? How did you come up with this concept? Sure, so we were sick of drinking vodka sodas, like probably many other people, <laughs> and wanted a great drink that didn't have a ton of calories or sugar. I'm also type 1 diabetic, so kind of have struggled to find a great cocktail. Right. So much of a cocktail is a simple syrup or a mixer, and that's just chock full of sugar. But realize no one wants the extra calories. So Absolutely. wanted to create something that tasted great yeah. and didn't have sugar or calories. I feel like it's kind of nice because you feel like you can enjoy your drink more knowing you're not taking in as many calories. Now there's three flavors. Yeah, all right, tell us about them. So we have a cucumber mint, which is just super light and refreshing mm -hmm. for the summer. Okay. We have a ginger lime, which makes a great Moscow mule, and a margarita. Nice. And the great thing about all of them is that they can all be paired with any spirit of your choice or actually just club soda for a mocktail or with some water to kind of spice up your everyday drink. Great, great, great. Well, let's get started. So what's the first one we'll be making today? We're going to make a sangria first. So we're going to use the cucumber mint. Okay. Um, and you don't really have to measure everything, you kind of just eyeball <laughs> it. Yeah. Um, so we're going to use like, I don't know, I'm going to use almost the entire bottle, like three ounces worth. And she's <laughs> going to be the person that doesn't have all the tools. Like many of you at home, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, this is, it does, it's not an exact right. science. Now do the mixers, do they come in different sizes? So they're all so sold. They're, they come in a single serve four ounce bottle okay. and they are sold in a four pack. Um, and basically for this we're going to do equal parts wine. Um, we're using a rosé today and the cucumber mint. So free pour. Yes. <laughs> She's going to go heavy on the wine. <laughs> and then because it's 4th of July weekend we're going to do red, white, and blue like berries. So really like you can that. use anything. Um, so they can kind of yeah, you, up. Yeah, yeah it doesn't kind of really matter, but great. for us, we're gonna stick with those strawberries, uh, blueberries, great. and blackberries, um, just because, you know, it's a special weekend. Um, and you, but you could put grapes in there, you could put apples, um, you can get festive and like cut them into shapes if you really wanted to. Um, and you could also do like a sparkling wine if you wanted, or even Ooh, just like I a Sauvignon like Blanc. Um, and then we'll just throw these in, all, <laughs> all in. Look at that. Oops, so festive. It's I love it. super easy. You could make this What's in bulk too, like in a pitcher, <laughs> so that everyone can either just like help themselves oh, wow. at a picnic. So yeah, Ooh. that's our that's our summer sangria <laughs> with the cucumber mint. <laughs> Let me try it. Yeah, you go first. We we do do it with me. Cheers. Yes, of course. <laughs> Don't make a face if it's not good. <laughs> Ooh, I like it. It's very light. I feel it's like it's really light. It's great by the pool or kind of after a long day watching a sunset Ooh. or just any time of day. Yeah, and it's sweet but not too sweet. You know what I mean? It's like just enough. Ooh, that's really nice. I feel like for the the cucumber mint is like that flavor that's kind of like clean and mellow so mm. it's not as yeah. overpowering so you can mix it with you know the wine or even like a spirit like vodka that oh, like, does, like there's so much i feel like yeah, you could do it so much variety, so much which was great nice. with gin vodka tequila any of the light spirits tequila I like that. <laughs> um all right so next up what do we have yeah we're gonna do a beer cocktail next oh, okay nice i what know we're we using we're gonna use bells over on but okay. i mean any so when you just beer. suggest or any kind of wheat beer? Yeah, okay, you can use Blue Moon, it doesn't really matter. Nice. Um, and we're going to start by muddling an apricot in the bottom. Um, so, And guys, feel free to comment, 
And so yeah, for, uh, for people who thoughts. are just joining, kind yeah. of, what are we what are we doing right so now? So we are actually working with B Mix. Uh, it's a zero calorie mixer, and we're kicking off July Fourth weekend by making some delicious cocktails. We already tried. Uh, there's three flavors, and we tried our first flavor, which was the was it the cucumber? Yeah, the cucumber yeah, the mint. Cucumber mint. Um, and now we're moving on to, are we doing the... We're going to do one? the ginger lime. The ginger lime. Yeah. So that one is coming up next. Yeah, yeah so if you don't have a muddler, I'm you can literally muddlers. use any, yeah. like, kitchen <laughs> tool that has a bottom. Everybody has a spoon. Yeah, it, exactly. you can use anything. You can, yeah. you know, improvise. Um, so we did one apricot. You could use peaches, mm. whatever's in Great. season or, like, readily available. And then we're just gonna pour our so now, wheat beer in. Jen, the mixer is zero calories, but what about like the actual drink now? So the I drink know, has calories right, and sugar course. from the alcohol, but so much of what makes a lot of the sugar or calories in a cocktail right. is the simple syrup or the mixer. So right. it takes out a lot of that. <laughs> it does take out a lot. Look at that. I know. It's so festive. You know, a lot of times when you I love it. I know when you mix like beer or anything sparkling with fruit, it's gonna kind of uh, overflow oh. like that. Um, that looks delicious. Yeah, well once it goes down. And then last thing, then you'll just put yeah. the mix in. Um, so, <laughs> hopefully this Look is gonna make it go down. <laughs> <laughs> All our viewers probably wanna yeah, oh. take a break at yeah. work and Yeah, I mean, you don't have to do that. We're doing it directly in our glass. So that um, we don't have to like dirty up too like too many kitchen tools, mm -hmm. but you can do it like you know in a do it in a, a you know something else first so that you're not having this this problem. Jen, what is the sweetener in the mix actually made of? So we use a blend of monk fruit, stevia, and erythritol, all okay. natural, mm -hmm. oh, wow, zero calorie sweet. sweeteners with a zero glycemic index. Oh great! Yeah, so now it's, it's nice calming down a little bit. bit. Exactly, no preservatives. Yeah. No preservatives. Um, yeah. All right, you two so cheers. <laughs> you try, then, then I'll join in. <laughs> and, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the foam mustache yeah. going on. It's a challenge to drink that. <laughs> it's really good. You're like, you it's really you're good. Finish the whole thing. It's really good. I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> Ooh, I know. I don't even know how I would describe it. I know. It. It's, it's like, like it's a like nice. Never, I don't know. I've yeah, beer cocktails are kind of trendy right now, and like I, I feel like for Fourth of July, a lot of times you don't want to do the hard liquor. Yeah. So like the sangria is great. Like this. this is good. And you got a little taste light. of the apricots yeah. on the bottom. And that's why the wheat beer is good. They go really well together. David's sipping. I have, <laughs> I have some. Um, oh, this is good. Yeah. Ooh, like okay, so yeah, I don't ginger like lime. I'm gonna go back to this one now. <laughs> yeah. No reason to choose. No yeah, to choose. they're all so pretty yeah. too. Like that's a, like they're so easy. And you really don't need these exact fruits or like materials. You can really, yeah, whatever yeah. you have in your kitchen or whatever your grocery store has. Those of you who are just joining us now, thank you. And um, we just wanted to kind of reiterate, I guess, what we're kind of experimenting with today. Be mixed. Um, it's a cocktail zero calorie sweetener. And uh, we just made a little bit of sangria. We made this wheat beer. Oh right? yeah, we're calling it apple. Red, White, and Brew. Red, White, and Brew. <laughs> What do you think of that? So clever. So and then, yep. I, know it's, I know it's kind of a little hard because we're you, you're just kind of measuring by sight. But yeah. How? What's like a AP, a, ABV for some of these? Like, do you, do you just kind of go by what's on the mm -hmm. what if, what you're making it with, like the beer or the? Yeah, definitely. You know. There's no alcohol in the actual mixer, so right. the alcohol only comes from the whatever from, from the alcohol that you're whatever mixing. Whatever it is, like you're mixing. Okay. Beer, the wine, yeah. or you know the alcohol, the vodka. Uh, the vodka, the gin. Right. Same thing with the calories. Like the only calories you're adding is what you are adding aside from the mixer. Right. Got it. And we have one mixer left, right? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna do the margarita one. Ooh, yeah. we're, now, we're gonna, now we're gonna add the hard stuff in for those that don't just want to do wine and beer. If they're nice. re this weekend, yeah. Um, so we're, this one is going to be the firecracker margarita. It's gonna be spicy. Um, so we are going to take a uh, jalapeno and obviously like you can just do this however much spice you want. Okay. I'm going to put three little slices in. Where can people get this by the way? Is it like online? So or? you can buy it online and we ship everywhere for free okay. or if you're in the tri-state area you can buy it at Whole Foods, Fresh Direct. 
mini bar or drizzly. It would kind of be nice too if they get to try kind of all three. Because yeah. it's hard to choose, I guess, which one it is. You kind of want to. Everyone has their favorite and, too. Yeah. It's funny, like some people, like I love the cucumber mint, but you know, some people love the ginger lime or the margarita. Like if you're, mm -hmm. if you like sweeter stuff, it just depends. And so if you order online, we do have a variety pack, so you can try, try your favorite. Um, all right, so I'm gonna, she's doing it directly in the glass, so, cause obviously a lot of you probably don't have right. shaker tins and mudlers so and all this just, stuff. Just ice. This is just uh, ice in any glass that you have in your, in your house. house. And we're gonna do an and ounce. Jalapeno. Yeah, exactly. Jalapeno. I mean, and for this, you can actually spice it up too with more berries, or like you can you can add whatever flavor you want. If you want watermelon, put watermelon in it. Like, it's there's you know it's not limited to any one thing. And the great thing is you actually don't need to add anything to it. Yeah. So you can just do be mix right. and tequila, okay. or be mix and vodka. Really super super simple. You don't have to get creative with it. Right. So yeah, we did. I did an ounce and a half of the tequila, and then I'm gonna do basically double the tequila that portion. I'm gonna do it with the the B mix margarita. Okay. So that'll be three ounces. So three ounces. Basically, so each bottle is four ounces. So I was just gonna say, I would how much say bottle. yeah, I would say you can get two drinks out of each. Okay, bottle. great. About right. yeah, two drinks out of each of the B mix bottles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or one if you don't yeah, like it super strong. Exactly. It's really kind of however you want it. Um, Shake it up. <laughs> <laughs> Which one are, are you most excited for this? I think, I don't know. I, I think I I'm most so. excited for that. I love spicy <laughs> drinks. They're so yeah. good. I'm just going to dump it like in like the yeah. whole thing so you can still see like the jalapenos. Yeah. Um, and like if you were to do it with berries, then again, like that would add color or whatever. Right. But this, I mean, that's pretty much it. Then, I mean, if you wanted to, you can add club soda. You know, if you want to, there's so much you can do with this. Oh. I was gonna say, I'm I know, go, I get it. Mmm. <laughs> there's not too much spice either, because I don't really like. No, I you can add more if you wanted to, and also oh, like good. the longer that the jalapenos sit in, obviously the spicier it's gonna get. Right. Mm. Um, or if you muddle them, you're gonna get more spice out of them. But I don't like it to like overpower the entire yeah, cocktail. Yeah, so. that's good. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I, was like, I don't even know. I'm, it's great that we can kind of enjoy a little bit of everything. Yeah. And um, so if you guys are just kind of tuning in now, or I'm sorry, we were having a lot of fun making some, <laughs> some delicious cocktails. It's really refreshing, too, each and every one of them. Um, yeah. But these are the B Mixed uh, Zero Calorie uh, Mixers. You could put in all different drinks. We did a couple different varieties today. And yeah, before we go, if you want to just real quick, just kind of go through and explain yeah. which, which Yeah, yeah, sure. Are. So the first thing that we made was the summer sangria. This is the summer sangria. So for that, we used the cucumber mint be mixed, and we used a rosé wine. Mm -hmm. um, but again, you can use Sauvignon Blanc, you can use a sparkling, a sparkling rosé, and then we added strawberries, blueberries, and blackberries um, to give it the like red, white, blue, really good patriotic, yeah. you know, theme for the weekend. Um, and then the second one we did was our beer cocktail, um, and that we used the ginger lime bee mix. We muddled an apricot, but you know, you could use a peach or whatever mm -hmm. you have in your grocery store or your house. And then we used the wheat beer, we used Bell's Oberon, you could do Blue Moon or Yeah, it's just one they else. recommend, but you kind of switch it up a little bit. Yeah, and we put our ginger lime in there. And then lastly, we did the uh, firecracker margarita, margarita. Um, which was, was nice. just the jalapenos with the margarita bee mix and a little bit of tequila. And again, you can just pair these directly with any spirit you want or just club soda. That's it's nice. really for you to make it your own. Yeah, and mocktails too. Like You can add fresh herbs, any fruit. You, you can add mint, basil. You can infuse the bottles with like lavender directly. You can experiment a little yeah. more. Yeah, you can be your own bartender because clearly like, we didn't do anything too formal right. today. Cheers to that. Yeah. It's a July 4th weekend, and thank you for joining me. It was so fun today. Yeah.